be found body fluid at any crime scene. So, the accurate differentiation between the peripheral blood and menstrual blood becomes important because it provides us with evidences in issues of consent during any sexual assault case. Also, peripheral blood is generally an indicative of traumatic injury, whereas menstrual blood is generally an indicative of a natural event. So, our uterine wall is consists of myometrium and endometrium. Myometrium, as the name suggests, is formed of muscle fibers, whereas endometrium is formed of simple cuboidal epithelial tissues and the stroma. This endometrium can further be divided into functionalis layer and basilis layer. Functionalis layer is actually the zone of cyclic changes during the menstrual cycle. This is actually the layer that sheds off and due to which the bleeding occurs. Whereas basilis is the layer which do not shed itself but it generates certain cells that help in regeneration of functionalis layer. Our menstruation cycle can be divided into three phases. The menstrual phase, the proliferative phase and the secretory phase. Menstrual phase is actually the phase during which our functionalis layer degenerate and it is slot off from the uterine wall and the bleeding occurs. Our proliferative phase on the other hand is the phase during which the regeneration of functionalis starts and the formation of spiral arteries begin. And our secretory phase is the phase during which there is more differentiation of the spiral arteries and the spiral arteries start be uh, begins the coil itself. And by spiral artery, I mean the arteries which are of this shape. This is our endometrium and these are the spiral arteries below the endometrium. Okay. So, during the absence of pregnancy, there is a lack of progesterone hormone due to which there is a construction of these spiral arteries, okay, forming a condition of hypoxia in the endometrium. And by hypoxia, I mean the loss of oxygen. Due to this hypoxic condition, the functionalis layer starts to degenerate. And this is the sole reason of the degeneration and the shedding of functionalis layer. Okay, now have you ever wondered then that whenever we are injured, whenever we have any injury on our outer body, we form, uh, suddenly our blood start clotting and suddenly our platelet system get activated and we form a mesh-like structure on our injury which helps uh, in controlling the bleeding of, you know, our injury and at some point the bleeding stops. But during menstruation, a female can bleed up to five days continuously or even more in certain cases. So, we all are familiar with the process of hemostasis, which begins by the platelet activation and aggregation to form platelet plug-like structure. And also, this initiation of blood uh, coagulation cascades begins the formation of protease called thrombin. This thrombin is responsible for the conversion of soluble fibrinogens to fibrin. This fibrin later aggregates with the platelet plugs to form blood clots, also known as thrombi, which helps in the succession of blood flow and the formation of blood clots. But during menstruation, the formation of platelet plugs is itself reduced. Also, there is a formation of blood coagulation inhibition factor, which helps in the reduction of blood clots, uh, reduce formation of blood clots. Also, during menstruation, there is a process called fibrinolysis that takes place. Fibrinolysis 
as its name suggests fibrin and lysis breaking of fibrin okay so in fibrin lysis a plasmin there is a formation of plasmin which helps in the cleavage of fibrin into a soluble degradable substance so our menstrual blood is basically consist of our blood okay and the functionalis layer and the mucus now let us talk about d dimer assay which currently presently is used almost worldwide to differentiate between the peripheral blood and the menstrual blood let me take the camera to the board the d dimer assay this is fibrinogen okay Due to the presence of thrombin, this fibrinogen is converted into fibrin. This fibrin then undergoes polymerization to form fibrin profibrils. You can see a polymerization. Okay, this fibrin profibril undergo cross linking to form. this compound cross linked compound okay we can see the cross linking of dd okay and due to the presence of plasmin the process of fibrinolysis takes place and these d dimers are separated okay these d dimers are mostly present in our menstruation uh, menstrual blood but this can distinguish peripheral blood however these d dimers are also present in you know postmortem blood but most of our uh, sexual assault cases are only related to either peripheral blood or menstrual blood so we are you know very much disregarding the possibility of any postmortem blood uh, exceptionals are the exception cases obviously so uh, apart from d dimer assay there is also one more assay that is uh, you know has proven itself helpful in the distinguish uh, differentiation of peripheral blood and menstrual blood it is called lactate uh, lactate dehydrogenase assay we are very familiar with the term ldh Yeah, you know this LDH helps in the process of glycolysis, and if we talk in humans, we are very much familiar with the anaerobic respiration, where you know LDH helps in the you know uh, reduction of pyruvate to lactate. Okay, so there are five LDH isoenzymes which are you know present in our blood: LDH one, LDH two, three, four, five. Okay. these isoenzymes can be distinguished from each other on the basis of their electrophoretic mobility so ldh1 is has the highest electrophoretic mobility to anode and ldh5 on the other hand has the lowest so our peripheral blood is rich in ldh1 2 and 3 and have comparatively low amount of ldh4 and 5 whereas Our menstruation blood has LDH four and five very much more as compared to LDH one, two, and three. So this LDH isoenzyme concentration is also proven itself effective in the differentiation of peripheral blood and menstrual blood. Though the reliable, more reliable technique, as per my opinion, would be D dimer assay, and this is only the technique that has currently been used worldwide. So. That's all for the video.